Hi guys, quick tutorial video here today to show you how to use 1Password to enter passwords into applications. This is something that can be useful when you are not entering passwords into a website, which is kind of what the 1Password infrastructure is designed to do. As you're probably aware, when you have passwords saved in 1Password and you use the browser extensions to use the logins, it will automatically take you to a website and log you in. But if you have something like Steam, which is actually an application, it's a little bit different because there is no immediate way for 1Password to recognize that you're logging into an application and that you need to enter your information into the application window. Other applications this could be useful for would be things like Skype, Adobe Creative Cloud, or anything else that is a desktop application that requires a login. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously open your 1Password vault. You'll want to make sure that your login is created and stored. In this case it's not, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So my login's been created. As I noted in an earlier video, Steam requires a special checkbox to be checked in the edit window. That's the send control A before auto type option. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that. That's unique to Steam. So all you really have to do to send your login info to an application window is click in the application window, in this case in the account name box. Usually you'll click in your user ID or account name box. And then go back to the entry in 1Password and you'll see this button here called auto type and it says auto type login. And if I click that, it'll ask me if I wanna send that login to the Steam login window. It's just basically confirming that it has the correct window to send the login information to. In this case it does, so I'm gonna click okay. And you'll see it enters it and it logs me into Steam. So that's one method of getting your user information to an, a login window. Another method would be to actually use the auto type button that is beside either your username or your password individually. So in this instance, if I only want to send my account name, I can click this auto type button and it will again confirm that that's where I want to send it. If you don't want to see this message every time, you can check this checkbox and it will automatically fill that information. And the same thing is true for the password. If I click auto type, it'll again confirm and it'll fill the password. This time it won't automatically log me in. So I can actually just click my login button and I'm successfully logged into the program. So as you can see, it's fairly straightforward to fill login information for applications. You can either use the auto type feature, which will auto type both the username and password, or you can use these individual ones. Say for example, if you only needed your password and you remembered your username, or it was already filled in the application window. That's all there really is to it. I hope this video is helpful for some people. Please leave your comments and questions below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.